Hi guys, today we're going to go through how to calculate the number of moles of a certain element. The first thing you want to do whenever you have any of these questions is to write down the following formula. Number of moles equals mass over molar mass. This is the key to any question in which you need to calculate either the number of moles or the mass. As soon as you get a question, you write down this formula. It can also be abbreviated in a better way that's easy to memorize as N equals M over MR, where N stands for the number of moles, M stands for mass, and molar mass is MR. So Remember this formula, now we're going to try a few different examples to help you understand it better. Our first question says, calculate the number of moles of 4 grams of carbon. So, like we said, as soon as we see a question like this, the first thing we want to do is write down our formula. So, N equals M over MR. So, we're looking to find our number of moles, and we're given a mass of 4 grams, and our molar mass is what we find on our periodic table. So you're going to need a periodic table. And what you want to do is look for the element. And our element is carbon. So look at the periodic table. And the molar mass is this value right here. Oops. This value right there. And basically you want to use this value for any time you need to calculate uh, one of these questions. So it's going to be a different value uh, depending on the element that you're using and it might be positioned differently in the periodic table you're using but generally they're pretty easy to identify. They're usually long numbers such as this one right here. So here we go. Um, our mass is our 4 grams so we'll do that and our molar mass is our 12.01 value so we'll write that underneath right there and solving that calculation gives us 0 0.33 and um, after you've calculated this uh, what we do is we add a MOL to identify that this is the final answer and this is our number of moles and that's basically the idea of it and uh, it's a simple calculation as long as you're able to identify the right parts of the question so let's try another one this one says, calculate the number of moles of 6 grams of chlorine. So, just like our past question, we write down our formula. N equals M over MR. And so, we see that we have 6 grams of chlorine. And we know that our molar mass, looking at our periodic table, is 35.45. So, easy. We take our 6 grams write it as the numerator then we see that our molar mass is 35.45 and we write that underneath and our final answer will be 0 0.17 and we end it off by putting a mole right there so let's try something different instead of finding the number of moles instead what we want to do is find the mass so in this question we're given the number of moles and we're given the element. So rather than using this formula, Rn equals m over mr, instead we want to rearrange it so that we solve for m. So m equals n times mr will be the formula that we use in this question. So let's try it. Solving for m, we know that our number of moles is 4, so we'll write that there. And we know that our molar mass is 10.81, so we'll write that. And then that gives us an answer of 43.24 grams. And that's our final answer. We write it in grams because that's our mass. And basically, it's as simple as the past question, 
The only thing you needed to do was rearrange the equation, so instead of solving for the number of moles, you're actually solving for the mass. So let's go back to another question where we have to calculate the number of moles. So we go back to our formula. You're trying to see the pattern here now because as soon as you see these questions, you want to be able to identify that you need this equation. And so look at the question. We know that we have 3 grams of magnesium. So we'll write 3 in our numerator. Magnesium, smaller mass is 24.31. And that will give us an answer of 0.12 moles. Easy. So here's another question in which we have to calculate the mass of 7 moles of oxygen. It's always important that you identify what you want to solve for. So if we're solving for the mass, we don't want our n equals mr formula. We actually want our m equals n times mr. All we did was rearrange it so that m was our subject, and that way we could solve for it. So, just to be sure, we're using this one. So, take our m equals, and we know that we have 7 moles. And I will multiply that by our molar mass of oxygen. And uh, it's 15.999, and uh, we could just round that up to 16. And that'll give us an answer of 112 grams. Of course, it's going to be in grams because we're solving for the mass. So, uh, here are a few practice problems. Pause the video now and see if you could solve them. I'll include the answers uh, at the end of the video. So, pause it now. Okay, so for the first one, it's going to be 3 divided by 19 equals 0.16 mole. And for the second one, it will be 7 divided by 32.07, and that equals 0.22 mole. And for our last question, it's actually going to be us solving for the mass. So it'll be 3, 9.01, and that equals 27.03 grams. If uh, you weren't able to calculate these ones, try looking back at the previous questions and make sure that you followed the same methodology. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below.